All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to steam these big clams open. And uh, I, I like to use beer as to get the steaming process going. Uh, water to me has no flavor. Uh, so I prefer to use beer and all the alcohol will burn out of it. So you're not gonna have, at the end, you're not gonna have a beer taste or alcohol taste. But it does add a little bit more flavor. So Tom, this is my secret weapon, is a nice beer instead of water. So let's turn this on. And let's start adding. I did wash these clams really, really well, but I mean, look at the size of these beauties. I'm not gonna overcrowd the pan so they can open all different sizes. All right, now I'm just going to cover this up, and in about two minutes, they'll start opening up. So it's going on about two minutes now. As you can see, they're already starting to open up. And I mean, look at that beautiful meat in there. Okay, guys, there it is. They are finally open. Now, these are still just partially cooked. They haven't cooked all the way, just steamed open. Ain't that a beautiful piece of meat right there? All the clams have steamed open already, and uh, so now they're a little bit hot, so I'm going to let them just cool off for about 10 minutes so I can handle, but isn't that, isn't that a beautiful piece of seafood right there? That's what I'm talking about. That is a, uh, what a quahog should look like, and that makes for an amazing clam chowder. Yeah, so now I'm just going to be taking them out. We're going to, I mean, I did notice, Tom, when you were, when you were making your video, you said it a couple times that you were a little bit nervous, but Tom, to be honest with you, from what I saw you doing, I don't think you should be nervous at all. I think you did a fine job, Tom. There we go. So I'm going to get all of these out of the uh, out of their shells. I mean, look at that. I'm going to get all these out of their shells. So I like to chop these up as, you know, with a pair of scissors. I like my clams chunky. So, I mean, that's perfect size for me. Nice and chunky. See these see these little guys. I caught some little guys too. These here, I'll just leave them whole. This one here is a little snack for me. That's fantastic. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about this challenge from uh, Time to Shine up in Canada. Tom, he just released his, uh, his video on this challenge, which I thought is a great challenge I will be putting everything in the description box below uh, this is not too many clams because it's only gonna be me and my wife so it's not gonna be too many but you know if you wanted to make up you know a bigger batch you can certainly definitely freeze this clam chowder and it does it does really well in the freezer Okay, I think you guys have seen me chopping enough. Yeah, see that right there? For just me and my wife, that's perfect. So now we're ready to cook. So the first thing I'm going to start with, got to have bacon. For me, bacon is a must. Bacon goes good with everything, so why not? I'm only making uh, like a one serving for myself. I already made uh, a bigger batch, but... Uh, the camera wasn't working so I'm just gonna make one serving here for myself and we're gonna get this bacon nice and crispy for the end all right so the bacon is done now I'm just gonna remove the bacon I don't want the bacon in there because I don't want it to get too burnt in the process 
It didn't create much bacon fat. If it did, then I would remove some of the fat or some of the bacon grease. But it didn't produce enough. So I'm going to leave it there. Let me turn the heat back on. Now it's time. Where is the onions? Okay. Now we're going to caramelize the onions. There we go, we want to caramelize them. Well, it's starting to smell good. So let me get these nice and caramelized. Uh, take the little, take the bitter taste out of the onion. Well, uh, by caramelizing the onion, you're going to make them sweet. Uh, I, because I don't want bitter taste of onion uh, in the chowder. I simply want sweet taste of onion. All right, so the onions are now nice and caramelized. You see how nice and soft they are? Translucent. Now I'm going to add in that clam broth that I saved. I'm going to add that in there. And at the same time, the potatoes I use, I like red potatoes. Uh, and I leave the skin on. But I cut them all, you know, I'd say that's about a quarter, uh, maybe a half inch. But I cut them all the same. I got some celery as well. There we go. Now I'm just going to uh, bring this up to uh, almost a boil. Almost a boil. And then I'm going to add the cream. And then at the end, I'm going to be adding the clams. But we'll let this simmer here, just so the till the potatoes are almost uh, fork tender, and we'll be back and I'll show you as we progress. So while we're waiting for the potatoes to cook up, uh, if you guys are halfway through this video and you're watching this, if you're liking it, give me a high five by clicking the subscribe button right down there, and definitely give the video a thumbs up. See you guys at the end. No, almost there. Prob Whoa, I just burnt my finger. Almost there. The potatoes are not quite ready yet. So we'll give it about another, I'd say, 10 minutes. So there we go. The potatoes are nice and fork tender. That's beautiful. Nice and fork tender there. Actually, I might have let them go a minute too long. Now at the very end, I'm going to add some salt, of course. Got to have some salt. Some black pepper. Is that a measure carefully? You, I think, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, maybe a little more salt. You give that a stir. There we go. Now the thing is, some people like it a little heavier. I don't like mine to taste too much like cream. Because I've done it with heavy cream, and you can use heavy cream. Some people prefer to use milk, uh, and that's totally fine. I like just a simple light cream, where you get just a little hint of cream, but you still get a lot of that clam flavor, where I feel heavy cream, uh, you get too much uh, cream taste and not much clam taste. After all, this is a clam chowder. So... I'd say that's about enough right there. And we'll let this come up to just a simmer. And then the final steps will be basically adding our clams. And it does smell amazing. Here we go. Time for the star of the show. The clams. Gonna get those right in there. Nice big chunks. I mean, I, I like when, when I take a bite, I want a piece of clam. I want a really big piece of clam. So the clam chowder is done. Now let's uh, plate it up. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Nice, the big clam. Remember the one I forgot to chop? Right in there. It's perfectly cooked. There we go. Now right here, put a little bit of uh, Chicken Johnny cayenne pepper. 
Put just a little bit of cayenne, just like that. And remember that bacon? Put just a little bit of that bacon on top of there. Yes, look at that. That right there smells and looks amazing. You know what comes next is, of course, I'm going to have to give it a try. Okay, so there it is. It's done. Uh, now we're just going to give it a try. And uh, so, Tom, you know, it was fun doing this challenge. Time to shine, Tom. Thank you for the challenge. Now let's give it a go. Ooh. That's hot. Hmm. It's hot, but it's delicious. Really, really good. The bacon adds an extra little step of flavor. Just a little touch of cayenne pepper definitely gives it. And the clam taste is very strong, which I like it. And because I use the light cream instead of the heavy, I can really see the clams coming through. And in memory of uh, Charles, old Alabama gardener, you know I would love to share one of these with you, but I can't. But if you want to make it on your own, I would encourage you guys to head on over to Time to Shine. Uh, the links for his channel will be in the description box below. And please participate in this great clam chowder uh, little thing that he's doing it's a lot of fun and uh for my secretary Lori, this is not manhattan clam chowder this is new england clam chowder manhattan clam chowder is has a red sauce base new england clam chowder has a white sauce base so to my secretary Lori, Lori's world uh i had to correct you there i'm sorry but guys till next time Was hot. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you check that red subscribe button down there. If it's still red, you haven't given me a high five, you haven't subscribed. This channel can't grow without you guys clicking that subscribe button. So, I better end, I'm going to end this before I kill myself here. You guys all stay safe and be sure to go to check out Time to Shine's channel. Really fantastic guy, Tom. And uh, while you're there, click his subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Bye, guys.